Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Split Gate Arena Warfare. Warfare, sorry. The first thing that we will need to do is to properly set up your uh, Windows. So the first thing that you need to remove is the game mode. So just write game here, open the game mode setting, make sure that game mode is at off, and make sure that your game bar is at off. You don't want to use any overlay from Windows 10 and stuff like that. So this is the first thing. The second thing I... I'm using a software now called Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. This software uh, is making sure that the, uh, it's purging your uh, standby list. Uh, Windows 10 have a lot of issue with the standby list for the past like six months. Uh, and this kind of fixed all my stuttering in like games like the, uh, the Division 2, Battlefield 5. So it's a pretty good software. Uh, the guy who did that is the same guy who did DDU. So it's not like a random uh, software uh, on the internet. Uh, it's pretty um, it's pretty good and it's legit so I will show you I will put the link in the description of the video if you want to download it after that uh, let's go inside of the game so now the graphic parameter first of all make sure that you're playing full screen in the display mode it will help you a lot I was losing 2 to 3 FPS in borderless uh, window and window mode resolution I'm playing full HD depending on your computer for sure you will Probably need to lower it if you have an integrated video card, you're playing on a laptop, something like that. But I'm playing full HD. Resolution scale, it's I'm playing at 100, so 141. Uh, this is pretty, like, this is last resort. You can't use like 95 if you want, but you will see a big decrease in your image quality, blurriness, uh, pixels, and stuff like that. So I'm not too crazy about the resolution scale. FOV, I'm playing at 90, this is a personal preference, but uh, if you go at uh, 103, you can probably lose 1 to 2 FPS because you will render more in front of you. I'm not using the V-Sync because I don't want any input lag. So, first of all, view distance. I'm playing at medium. This is a good um, graphic pioneer for this game. At near, sometimes I feel like I don't see some enemy. So, medium is a best uh, compromise here and you will gain 3% for each bracket. So it pick to medium, you will uh, gain like something like six to seven percent of FPS. Post processing, I'm putting this one at low. You want to remove all those post processing stuff, uh, bloom, motion blur, everything. Uh, it will give you two percent for each bracket. So a nice chunk here. Shadow, same thing. I'm playing at low. This one is a huge deal. It's like four percent for each bracket. So huge deal when you go epic to low and honestly with low you still see shadows in the game But uh, you don't need quality. You just want FPS when you're playing competitive game Texture I'm playing at epic and honestly in this game you will it, it doesn't use a lot of the texture So even if you have like a 3 gig uh, VRAM on your card uh, Go with epic if you have 2 gig go with high or medium and less than 2 gig go with low Effect I'm pulling at medium um, but honestly, if you're seeing your uh, FPS dropping when you're fighting, it's probably because of the effect. So make sure that uh, you lower your graphic parameter. Uh, put this one at low if you feel that you're getting a lot of stuttering and lag when you're fighting. Uh, anti aliasing I'm putting this one at medium. I didn't see a huge difference between low and medium for FPS, and the, ga the game is, uh, is more clean. So uh, put this one at medium, and uh, for each bracket, a pick to medium, you will gain 3%, so 6% of increase when you're playing at medium. The last one is frame limit. I'm putting at 144 FPS because I, because I want to match my screen uh, with like uh, 144 hertz. So just uh, put the same uh, limit as your uh, monitor. So now let's go in the config file. So in the config file, to uh, find your config file, you need to click user. The name of your computer, app data, local, portal wars, save, config, and Windows No Editor. After that, open the file called game user setting. Double click on it. Just a sec, I'm gonna remove my read only. So double click on it. And you have a graphic pioneer here called foliage quality. Put this one at zero. By default, it will be at three. It and it will help you with your FPS. At the end of this, Save it, close it, right click on the folder, uh, the file, sorry, I'm French. And uh, yeah, press uh, read only. So you make sure that you're gonna lock the file. So the game will not override your graphic parameter when, I don't know, when they patch or when you decide to change something in the game. 
So that's about it, guys. If you have any questions, just come in in the YouTube section, post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.